everybody again and welcome to another episode of Stock Talk. I am your host, Mike. Please like and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at Stock Talk Product Reviews coming in hot on the gram. And that is on Twitter at Stock Talk Product Review. Uh, we got a decent show planned for you. We got some of the top stocks we're going to talk about today. One of the first stocks we're going to talk about is Bird Global Incorporated. Bird Global Incorporated. Last tick was 0.19er. And a uh, ticker on that one is BRDS, BRDS. Uh, going to the chart for today, resistance is starting to come up. Uh, you saw this thing go up 0.058, 42% for the day. Uh, as for the year, uh, well, that's a different story. Uh, it's off uh, from previous levels, but uh, we know how that goes, market correction, uh, things like that. Uh, so going on to the website, we're going to check it out. But first, uh, like I was going to tell you, uh, before, uh, that this is a sub, so it violates one of, uh, rookie Gutierrez's rules of trading, never trade anything under a dollar, especially if you're new, if you are new and do not know what you're doing, uh, you could get yourself caught up in something, uh, very bad as far as, uh, shorties, uh, could rain on your parade. Uh, so do paper trading. If you're new, stick to that. Do not jump into something like, uh, that you don't know what you're doing. Uh, so go. let's go to the Alphabet News, check out and see what the Alphabet News is saying about this stock. You might not have saw this, but this came out of my Callum County, uh, as far as uh, their news here, uh, shows up on the Google machine. The company official, Bird Scooters are coming to Port Angeles this spring, but not to uh, Quim there. Uh, Bird e-scooters are coming to Port Angeles, but not to Sequim. According to the company spoksperson, contacted KONP last week, uh, said that uh, email inquiries will be getting operations in Port Angeles in hopes to bring the scooters to Sequim in the future. They're grateful for policymakers or riders who have been supported for the program, and they've been able to bring scooters to the streets and on ground partners to uh, manage logistics of the program and learning forward to how to meet uh, Port Angeles needs. Riders can download the Bird app, yada, 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 and so forth. Uh, so you could see uh, there's some movement there uh, in the alphabet news. And you also had that they announced purchases, shares of management of director of directors, uh, investors place. Let's see what they have on there. Investors place brings up the important uh, part uh, that we need. So we don't bury the lead in the whole story. It says bird just announced new programs around Europe, U S and Canada. These programs will join the company's current market presence in the middle East and Australia. In case you've been uh, hiding under a rock somewhere or don't know about the company, uh, they uh, for cleaner air, less traffic, and more joy, Bird encourages clean, car-free alternatives. Bird is passionate about vibrant communities and less traffic, cleaner air, and safer streets. They're working with cities and universities across the world to provide new transportation options, complement public transportation systems, and invest in safety and infrastructure, infrastructure with benefits for everyone. Transforming the way we get around. Ease of congestion. Bird scooters cut the use of vehicles and reduce volume of traffic on the road. Uh, bird scooters also are all electric carbon free alternative, uh, an alternate to cars. Uh, greater availability. Bird scooters complement existing infrastructure and provide an alternative way to get from point A to point B with fewer transport options. Uh, I've known several cities, uh, just to not to be a Debbie Downer with the scooter, with the company, uh, but I've known several cities uh, near me where they had these and then they were all removed for something else just because the pricing on them was very high, just an FYI. Uh, so I don't mean to, uh, I just had to throw that out there because we don't carry the cooler for anybody on the show. Uh, Bird eliminates the need to endless search for car parking and causes traffic on already crowded streets, pollutes in the air in the process. The traditional car parking spot can fit 10 scooters. Bird images the spaces of multi-purpose parklets where dockless bikers can, uh, bikes and scooters can easily park. As you can see, one car equals 10 birds. There you have it right there. Right now, you could download the app. Uh, they also have uh, the partner cities on here you could look at uh, as far as vehicles, the Bird 3, the biker share, and the Bird bike on there. So they don't just do scooters. They do the bikes as well. So going on to stock twits, because that's where the real traders are at, we have Rocket, uh, lots of numbers there, says they, this will open green tomorrow. Uh, I think this will continue up train over the next week, and it'll start to get attention as uh, higher short-term interest, lots of recent insider buying. 
uh, birds, and if Hellbiz earnings are good, this should boost BRDS. And, uh, says stock price is always an indicator of future growth potential. Look at the year, last year's results. Not a seller, uh, but in great improvements. And look at their uh, outlook there. They expect to see cash flow, EBITDTA positive 2023. Still wondering why the insider gobbled up shares. Uh, so you can see ride profit before vehicle depreciation was $126.3 uh, million compared to 76.7 million in 2021. Ride profit before vehicle depreciation as a percentage of the share revenue was 55% compared to 44% uh, percent of the previous prior year. The operating expenses were 506.1, including 95.3 and non-cash stock based. Uh, so lots of numbers there to digest. Uh, I could see why we're in a uh, sub penny land there. Oh, uh, has a good point, and uh, it's a it's it's a, the, one of the number one rules of trading. Uh, Ricky Gutierrez's is number one rule uh, is that uh, with this saying, uh, telling people what to do and telling them hold and not to sell, uh, just saying, Davy boy, well, you're violating that rule that is always locking your profits, my friend. Always locking your profits. You, there's always another entry point depending on where your entry point is to get back, but uh, you can't be. Uh, married to a stock or anything like that. It's just a stock. Next stock we have is Biomia Fusion Incorporated. Biomia Fusion Incorporated. Last tick was $30.71. Today it is up $15.28. Is this uh, the next uh, favorite of uh, flavor of the day or flavor of the week that other people are talking about? We're just going to have to go and find out why and what is trending and what is happening with this stock. Going uh, to year to date, uh, as you could see, uh, resistance started uh, popping up from uh, from July 2022nd momentum. Uh, you saw you saw uh, the drops, things like that, and then year to date, you started to see a skyrocket. Is that chat boards? Is that news? We're going to find out and try to digest and why, uh, and we're going to see what the real traders are saying about this as well. So going on to Yahoo Finance, uh, Biomia Fusion says in cohort three, four weeks of once daily, 100 uh, milligrams. Of dosing of investigational oral covalent of menin inhibitor, BMF 12989% of patients achieved a reduction. A1C achieved a 0.5% reduction in A1C and 56% achieved a reduction of A1C. Initial observations continued. Glycemic control was seen to follow up visits. Uh, and patients who have already reached eight in study of four weeks in the last BMF 2219 dose at the time of publication. Uh, BMF 219 demonstrated that the well tolerated safety study, no patients on BMF 219 discontinued dosing, and all patients complete four weeks of treatment. Uh, Biomia continued to dose escalation and plans to explore additional dosing periods for four weeks to order to evaluate the optimal duration of glycemic control. Guys, you're starting to see this in many, uh, as far as stocks, because people are gravitating away from a lot of your stocks and things like that, and they're going towards biopharmaceuticals. You're going to see jumps uh, and reactions to different studies. Uh, some of these uh, reactions are overreacting, and shorties are getting in, and they're blowing the price up. And others are just because sometimes uh, you're going to you're going to see these pops over and over again. So when you're going to look at these stocks. Uh, find out, like I was telling another listener who messaged me this morning, who's funding it, where's the capital, what are the profits, what's the long-term outlook, and how successful are they in their pipeline of other studies? Uh, so that's what you have to look out there. Uh, so a clinical stage biopharma company, uh, so the brief rundown before we go in so we don't have to go, uh, when we go to the website to look at the pipeline, we don't have to go into what they do, uh, but they're in a clinical study biopharmaceutical company dedicated to discovering Novell uh, covalent small molecules to treat and improve the lives of genetically defined cancers, metabolic diseases. Today announced the positive top line for the two cohorts of patient type 2 diabetes. Guys, that's huge in itself. And they're in the role in phase 2 portion of ongoing uh, phase 1, phase 2 study of covalent 111 of the company's Novell investigation of for the menin inhibitor. Uh, it says beta cell loss observed in the critical component of epitology and uh, pathogenesis of type 2, type 1 diabetes, menin is sought to, be, sought to be the key inhibitor of regulating the limit terms of beta cell recovery in the pancreas. So they're also working with that. Uh, so that is a huge in itself just because of these diseases that affect many people around the world and in the country. So let's go to the website and check it out and see what we have. Going on to the website, it's simple. 
Uh, we don't have to uh, go crazy into things because we already talked about uh, what they do. Uh, but this is the main thing you want to look at when you're looking at these stocks. Uh, as you can see, you have discovery in the pipeline, IND enabling, phase one, phase two, and phase three. I go over this because some of you are new. If you're uh, if you're a seasoned trader, why are you even watching the show? So uh, phase one, all all AML, all leukemia. You're in phase one. You're betting on to, or is this thing going to go to phase two, phase three, and then FDA approval? Uh, you also have your MM melanoma, lymphoma, leukemia, lung, pancreas, and colon cancer, and diabetes, leukemia. Now, today's break was a Colvin 111 uh, diabetes. They're in phase two on that. Uh, so you have several different things that you could ride. Uh, and like we were talking on the bird on the bird stock before when we were talking about that, uh, and someone was saying, well, uh, hold the line. Yeah, it, it's cool to hold the line and everything like that. But you got to lock in some of your profits there, and then you can find another entry point. Uh, you can't just not uh, have uh, any profits. You're you're violating every rule of trading there. Uh, there is there can be another entry point. If you just go and sell and forget about it, then I, I don't know. So I, I remember a show one time when uh, on uh, Ricky Gutierrez's show, and someone was pissed off because he sold AMC, and he's like, "Dude, I got to make my profits and what I did." And so he did. He made his profits, and that's what he did. Uh, so. Uh, so you have the ty this type 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 two diabetes study, the phase two, as the, and you have it all several of the other phases. Uh, if you're wondering, uh, is this going to be good for you? Look into like I said, I won't give out the advice if you should do it or not, but I'm just saying, look into who's funding it, find out the who, when, and the why, and is this uh, right for you? There, let's go to stock twits because that's where the real traders are at, and check out what the real traders are. So Colton Shadow uh, basically says here in the last post, this company's relying BMF two one nine, which is a clinical drug candidate that has not been tested on humans. There were or non going clinical trials for BMF two one nine, therefore, it has not been tested in patients with AML, MM, or DLC CL. So you're not going to get uh, any anything like this on the mockingbird media and things like that you're getting you're getting things from real traders that are do, doing the deeper dive there so he says based on the information provided it seems that bmf 219 has not yet been tested on humans the information provided only mentions preclinical data which refers to studies conducted in laboratory settings or in animals for exo vivo studies involving testing on cells tissues and other body what people fail to realize that these are preclinical trials too so there you go. Not to bury the lead from what Colton, uh, Colton, Colton Ada says, uh, but you have it where you can't just believe everything the Mockingbird Media says and everything like that. You have to dive deeper, and that's what he's giving you the deeper dive. And if you're new, watch out where this is at because this that fifteen fifty seven that you saw with a ninety nine point ninety seven percent gain, three analysts before earnings miss. Hmm. Yeah, I would agree there also has another take he says this reminds me of what people call ibm could be the next ibm was a disappointment charlie munger their website looks like five-year-old made uh yeah it looks like a, i do agree it looks like a cut and paste uh a cut and paste website that's why it's funny when some people say you know uh, why did this company copy off this person this company and things like that well uh most of the websites they say they copy off the website and stuff like that and most of them are uh, cut and paste websites anyway he says websites so you should be probably not are you able to good research with the, even the publication yeah i i'm thinking with this one i'm not saying it's not a bad deal it's just that uh we we had a a, a sharp gain and that sharp gain what goes up must come down so react to that if you're a new stick to paper trading don't think this is the next uh, big hoorah and you get all, you lose all your money because you could lose your money really fast uh, in these types of uh, markets there. Well, uh, Hot69 brought up something good, says, this company will be bankrupt within six months and you dumb, you know what's are chasing it. Sorry, it's just censors in YouTube. Uh, I got no money and they're burning money. The next stock we have is Oscar Health Incorporated, OSCR. OSCR, last tick was $5.61. Is this going to be another darling of the day or darling of the week? It is up $2 and change. 56.27% today. Year to date on this one? Well, uh, it you, it's coming up and uh, we saw we saw some movement here. Uh, you're starting to see a, a regular normal chart after February 7th of 2022. 
uh, and then you saw the drop off because obviously shorties got out. Uh, this thing th for the year has gone up three dollars and fifteen cents, one hundred twenty-eight point zero five percent. Again, with these health companies and things like that, you need to know where the qu fourth quarter numbers at, where the third quarter and second first quarter numbers, uh, who, what, when, where, why is funding it, and uh, how are they looking long term, and is it a progressing company? Before you jump into any of yeah, some of you guys could say that this is a safe haven because of economic conditions and people are trying to run away to this. Or are they just trying to drive up the price? We don't know. So, uh, I mean, some of us do know, but, uh, you know, opinions to be named later. Uh, some people will take credit saying, I told you so, or they'll just join in uh, the banter of others. To so the Alphabet News says, Oscar Health announces appointment of healthcare veteran Mark Bertolini, or sorry, Bolto Ber uh, Bertolini. Uh, sorry if I butchered it there, but uh, it is what it is. To CEO, not uh, Bartoli, uh, but co-founder and CEO, Mario uh, Schlosser transitions to president of technology. Uh, so is this the reason why it shot up or is there other reasons? We don't know. The first uh, health insurance company uh, built around a full stack technology platform today announced the appointment of Mike Mark Bertolini. Uh, to uh, the role of Chief Executive Officer April 3rd, 2023. The co-founder, uh, Mario uh, Schlosser, will transition to the president of technology there. Uh, they have worked closely, closely with Mark in a strategic role to, for Oscar for the 18 months. Uh, it has become clear that the shared vision of the future of healthcare uh, by uh, pairing the passionate in tech with Mark's excessive expertise in building sampling, scaling companies, uh, they will continue to execute, execute strategy for profitability, set up Oscar for continued growth, and deliver uh, enhanced value for member shareholders. So the most important news out of this, and they could see why some of the gain was and some for why the alphabets are talking about it. So before joining Aetna, Mark held an executive position at Cigna, NYL Care Health Plans, and Select Care. Uh, those companies are not Mr. Thank You Very Much is in the health industry, uh, just an FYI, but you guys already know that where he was at the, as the president and chief executive officer most recently. Bartolini served as Bridgewater co-CEO and previously as co-chairman of the operating board. Uh, in conjunction with today's announcement, Oscar is reaffirming the 2023 guidelines guidance as outlined in fourth quarter 2022 earnings, February 9, 2023. The company Oscar also plans to release its first quarter 2023 financial results market closed May 9th, 2023. So tune in on that one. If you are going, we'll see where the numbers are on that. For a couple things going on the website, looks pretty good. It better look good. It's a health insurance company. If it looks ghetto, well, nobody's going to go there. Uh, so we're Oscar. They're making healthier life accessible and affordable for all. Oscar is the first, first health insurance built around a full stack technology platform, relentlessly focusing on members. They started Oscar in 2012 to create the kind of health insurance company that would you want for your uh, for yourselves and behaves like a doctor in the family. They believe America deserves access to affordable, high quality health care that fits their life and needs. Yeah, wouldn't uh, most people uh, would laugh at some of that? Uh, you know, if you like your doctor, you can keep it too. Uh, we started Oscar to create health insurance company that behaves like a doctor in the family, powered by the differentiated full stack technology platform. They built a suite of services that enables them to earn members' trust, leverage the power of personal data, and help members find quality care that they can afford. Well, are we all worried about that, right? Uh, they are proud to earn industry-leading levels of trust, engagement, and customer satisfaction. Approximately one-plus members have chosen Oscar. They'll continue to bring uh, the experience to new members, new states, new markets, yada, yada, yada. Quick facts about the company, 1 million plus members. What does that 1 million plus members mean, guys, right now? Reoccurring revenue, just an FYI. 20 states, they're in 20 states and three lines of business. Let's check out the three lines of business. Individual, family, Medicare Advantage, and Cigna Oscar for small business. What states? Let's go to the states. We don't need to go, we don't need to bury the lead of what we saw on the website, and we don't need to stay camped out on the website for long. Because all you need to know is 1 million plus members and then write down the May date for first quarter results uh, when that comes out. That's going to be the key. Uh, if you're new and you're seeing this and you're like just stumbled upon it and you stumbled upon the show and you're just like, 
oh, this thing made like uh, $2 or something like that. It looks good today. Uh, no, you, you need to do paper trading. You need to not uh, jump into something that you just saw because uh, it was going up for the day. Many factors went into that. Uh, some were non-related. Some of it was hype. But the biggest uh, thing is going to be how much uh, did they make in May on that quarter. Love the trade says, I love it when everyone posts, not the pasta maker sold another insurance for $80 billion. That's funny. They're calling him the pasta maker, uh, Bartoli or Bartoloni, whatever it is. So what? I have no other BO and will look at the CVS stock as it looks very pretty. And he's laughing and he's saying bearish. Trades brought up a good point. I like the point here. He says, Oscar, kids uh, trying hard, but still buy this nonsense because of a new CEO. That's exactly... I was like, that, that's not news to me why you would want to do this uh, as well there. It seems really silly. Uh, Double Shot has a good one. 87% institutionally, institutionally owned, according to Ameritrade. You don't think that this is the highest of 2023 minus on the blip in February? They ain't going to be selling off. They're going to get tired of holding bags to, you know. Ain't that the truth? He uh, basically sums it up, says undisciplined traders when adding to losing. The story that showed up from Stink Stonks Grow, he said, Oscar, they're mindful of dilution, and this is just a winner if they execute their plan. And uh, he posts uh, the article that says, Oscar CEO to step down in April. Uh, it says, Oscar expects to incur a stock compensation, non-cash charge, $46 million the first quarter of 2023, as a result of Squasser and Kushner uh, canceling the founder's agreement. Uh, you can read that on cranesnewyork.com. So I'm sure, like everything else uh, that we will see on Friday, that this one will uh, drop off uh, and is re as some people are reacting to the news uh, of the CEO thing, which is uh, just, yeah, it's strange. Uh, but uh, like and subscribe to the show. Appreciate you guys joining me for another uh, top three stocks from the Twits. Don't make it a dog show. And good night now.